The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to clean a Mistbuster 850 series electrostatic precipitator. This unit is a model 850. You might have a model 500 where there is one cell in the unit or a quad where there are four cells or a 2000 series where there are six cells. But for this demonstration we are going to show the 850 model. The first thing you do is you will turn the vario speed control to the off position. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to push in the high voltage ground, which grounds out the cells. Next you will turn the doorknobs counterclockwise until the door opens. You'll see with this model there is two impinger sections that are two inches and three collection unicells. Next, using an insulated screwdriver, touch the tip of the screwdriver to the base of the collection cell and also touching the first collection plate. This is a safety measure just to ensure that the cells are actually grounded before you touch them. The cells are charged when the unit is plugged in and if you touch the cells without grounding out the unit or first grounding the unit with the insulated screwdriver, you might get a shock. The next step is to take the handle and slowly pull the cell out of the top tier first. Take the cell, put it down and repeat this until all the cells are removed. Next, take out the top impinger section and then the bottom impinger section. On the new series Mistbuster units, the bottom impinger is, looks like this. It is more of a grease impinger, whereas the second stage impinger is a mesh filter. You then want to check the connection points inside the unit, ensuring that they're clean and free of any grease or oil. You can use a uh, simple green or um, a scrub pad and or a scrub pad to just clean off any excess grease that you're going to have over here. If you don't, you might, you might have arcing in, which would cause the unit to malfunction. So you want to make sure that these contact points are clean and free of grease. The next thing you want to do is just visually check the inside of the cabinet and also clean that using a, a simple green or similar type cleaner and clean the interior of the cabinet. When reinserting the new cells, you need to put the grease trap impinger section first with the drains pointing down. The second stage filter, there's an arrow pointing up and you want to place that right directly above the first impinger. Next, you will take the clean cell and there is also an arrow for the indicating the airflow. You want to take that and also push put that with the arrow pointing up, making sure that your connection points connect with your contacts inside the cabinet. We will then insert the cells. Again, the arrow pointing up. Some 850 models come with only two collection cells. The third collection cell is an option. If yours has two cells, that is okay. The machine will function correctly. Once the cells and the impingers are inserted, close the door, and you'll rotate the knobs clockwise and tighten them down.
<clears throat> the next thing you'll do is just turn the unit back on and you should have two steady indicator lights indicating that the unit is functioning properly. If the light does not go on or is blinking, then the unit is not functioning correctly.